Hey friends, welcome back and hello, hello. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Happy Whip Wednesday. Today is our favorite day of the week because we work on our whips and try to finish them off. Um, if this is the first time you're joining me, I'm Narain. I'm the maker and designer behind Doors Knits. Um, I share mostly Tunisian crochet patterns um, for children, women, and the home. Um, I have a bunch of tutorials on here for how to get started with Tunisian crochet. Um, I have free patterns on my blog and I'm on Instagram, on Pinterest. I have all of my social um, media links in the description, but today I have some exciting news. If you guys have been following along and if, if you've seen my past few tutorials or my playlist, of the Wild One Baby Blanket um, pattern. I did a Tunisian crochet along um, last month and um, I finally finished the blanket and I wanted to share with you guys. I also released a couple of free patterns over the past week um, as part of a challenge that I was invited to by Hobby, um, Hobby Yarns. They sent me some really nice yarn some cotton yarn to work up some really cute um, crochet appliques. So I'm excited to share with you guys a lot of good stuff going on. Um, let me know if you're joining in, where you're joining from, what you're working on today. I always love getting inspired by all of you, finding out what everyone is working on. It's always nice to um, see. Um, yeah, and if you're in here, let me know if you guys can hear me properly, if the audio and everything is fine. Um, my biggest fear is that I'll just keep talking and nobody can hear me. <laughs> so for joining in, let me know all of that. Um, and I'm going to get started. I have a lot to share with you guys today. So first of all, um, I released a free pattern today using some friends, uh, hobby friends cotton 8-6 yarn in these two colors. I did a full video tutorial as well um, and it's up on the blog and also the tutorial is on here but you can find all of the links and all the written instructions and everything on the blog post. So I released um, Milo the monkey. It's like a cute face applique and I crocheted a, a back to it because nobody likes weaving it ends, right? <laughs> we hate that part. Um, you know, there are just a few ends, but still, you know, I'd rather not. So I just ended up um, doing a simple crochet round in the back. Um, and this pattern uses both, um, you know, the basics of Tunisian crochet and traditional crochet. So it's a nice hybrid pattern to get started. Uh, you know, if you've been wanting to try Tunisian crochet and you need that little extra push, this is a really cute pattern to try out. And um, you just need a couple of safety eyes, you know, the basic tools like your scissors, yarn needle, and um, yarn in these two colors. You could use an alternative, but I use the hobby yarn. Um, but Hobby is relatively, um, they have quick shipping and they have reasonable prices. So, um, you know, check it out and see if you can grab some. I have a link to the yarn in the description as well. And this is the Friends Cotton 8-6 yarn, which is kind of like, it says it's a size 2, but it looks a little bit um, thicker to me. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty nice to work with. Um, I just use my Clover Takumi uh, Bamboo Tunisian Crochet Hook in a size 6mm, um, and then a traditional uh, Clover, I have a Clover soft grip that I used for the back, 
um, which is a 4.5 mm, I believe. But you can find everything in the blog post, everything I used, and also the written instructions that I said. And then the I have a link to the video tutorial for it. So start to finish, you can find all of the steps. So this is Milo the monkey. Go check him out. Make a couple of appliques and share with me. Use the hashtag Milo the monkey, and I would love to see your versions. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a pretty quick make, it's fun. Um, and then a couple of days ago, last week actually, I released another applique, um, which is part of, again, the same challenge. Um, Mr. Cado and Mrs. Caddy. These are um, cute avocado appliques. Um, you know, the challenge was to create these cute app applications or cute appliques that can be used for you know various purposes, but you can check out the free pattern for these as well on the blog. Um, again, I use the same um, cotton, which is a Friends Hobby Friends Cotton 8.6 yarn, but in the other colors like the lime and the green and stuff. So I have all the details that are on the blog post. Um, and also, again, this has a full video tutorial with it. Um, so you can check out, you can follow along in the video tutorial and then the written instructions are, um, written instructions are there as well on the blog post. So I hope you check it out and I hope you make a couple of these as well. Oops, <laughs> there's a cute little hat for the, for the guy and then for the girl, you have the little bow. Um, and yeah, I hope you like making these. So I have both of those patterns as free patterns on my blog, as I said. Um, you can upgrade to the PDFs as usual if you'd like. Um, this is a way you can support me because it does take a lot of um, effort, you know, recording these videos, editing them and all of that and writing up the patterns. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that happens. So if you want to grab the PDF pattern, I would appreciate it. Um, you know, if that's, if you prefer working from like an actual PDF uh, rather than just, you know, on the, on the blog post where there will be ads that's, you know, because I need a way to support free patterns. <laughs> so um, check it out. And yeah, if you want, you can grab the PDFs and, um, I hope you guys like those patterns. They're super cute and fun to work up. Um, and then another um, pattern I'm working on with the hobby um, up for another hobby challenge, which you can follow along on my Instagram page. Um, it's more of like an Instagram focused campaign. The other ones, the ones where I released these two free applique patterns, those are part of a Pinterest challenge. Um, but the Instagram challenge is for hobby elements, um, which is super fun too. I've loved working on this project as well. Um, I made a couple of coasters and now I'm working on the placemat that goes with it. But I use these earthy tones and I did some cross stitch and I love how these turned out super cute. Um, but you can expect a pattern closer to August, like beginning of August, um, end of July. I'm going to be um, hopefully re releasing it soon, but um, this is how it's working up. It's just simple tenir and crochet with um, some cross stitch on it. I love how cross stitch looks um, in these three colors. It just turned out so cute. I like this minimal type of design. Um, I've been into home decor lately too. Um, I have this table runner pattern that's super popular on Etsy called the Honeycomb Kitchen Set. Actually, not just on Etsy, but also on Ravelry. And um, I even added it to Ribbler recently, and it's been quite popular there too. So you could check it out. I'll link to it in the description. I hadn't added it in, but um, it's a fun pattern to work up as well. But here's the beginning of my placemat. It's just going to be simple, Tunisian crochet. So it's a nice, you know, um, project to work on while you're just watching something. But I'm using the Friends Cotton 8, 8 that they sent over in four colors, it's like um, four neutral colors. 
but um, I love how it's working up so far. And then um, another thing that I am working on is something for um, a collaboration with Furls Crochet, um, Crochet Foundry Magazine. It's going to be a free pattern coming up again in August, I believe, beginning of August, end of July, beginning of August. Um, but I have been working on this and I love how it's looking so far. And it is just basic <clears throat> interlock Tunisian crochet. And I did a whole series um, of tutorials for how to Tunisian crochet interlock. Um, and it's a super easy technique. And the best part is you can do it with a regular crochet hook. Um, so I've been working on this and I'm super excited. I love how it's working up so far. It's more like a fall. It's gonna be like a fall themed um, project. But I'm using my carousel special edition crochet hook from furls um, for this project. Um, and then the Wander Yarn, I absolutely love working with Wander Yarn. It has this nice sheen and it's super um, soft and it comes in some really great colors. I have a link to all of these in the description. And I'm just saying, make sure you bookmark these pages and be ready because Furl's birthday is coming up and they're probably going to be doing some really fun things. I can't really say much. I don't actually know much, um, but I'll find out and I'll let you guys know when I know. But make sure you are bookmarking the Furl's pages. That's all I can say right now. Because <laughs> their birthday is coming up and you know that they celebrate in a big way. So um, this is a Wander Yarn Wander Acrylic. Super fun. I love working this up. So far I've been loving working this up. It's a nice fun project. Um, this is a Wander Yarn in Thatch and uh, Mahogany. So, so very nice. So I'll link to the Entrelac, um playlist so that you guys can check it out and follow along. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it in terms of my projects that I'm working on. And I wanted to show you guys my wild one. Wild one baby blanket. The way it turned out, I absolutely love it. If you're on, if you're following me on Instagram, I'm sure you sh you saw some sneak peeks that I posted as part of a, of a reel. Um, and then I did share some photos in my story. So if you're following me over there, you probably already saw. But here I'm going to show you guys the full blanket. Are you guys ready? Drum roll. And I'm so excited. And um, I will tell you guys a little bit about the blanket. Um, it was such a fun um, project to work on. And... Thank you so much to We Crochet um, for sending over the yarn. They sent me um, the comfy worsted yarn because I wanted to rework it up. I, this was an original, like originally I made this design a few years back using a different yarn, but um, I didn't really end up releasing it then as a pattern. But now I was like, I really need to get this out into the world. And so I did a bunch of squares. Um, so it's like a fun tinny and crochet along. You can still find all of the details on my blog post I've linked in the description. Um, it's called the Wild One Baby Blanket. And there are a total of six squares. And then we join them together. And there is a beautiful blanket. So. I'm really excited. I hope you guys will love it as much as I do um, the way it turned out. I'm just so thrilled, so happy. It's a little bit bigger than I intended, but it's kind of like a, you know, grow with the kid kind of blanket. <laughs> but oh my God, I love, love, love how it turned out. This is the wild one blanket and I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of the squares so you can see um 
So I'll go through the squares. This is the honeycomb square. This is the clouds square. And then the next um, row has the arrowhead square, which is, I'll show you this one, arrowhead square, which is literally just a duplicate stitch. I tried something different. I did duplicate stitch on top of the knit stitch. Um, which worked pretty much how I expected it to. It's the same thing as, um, you know, when you do duplicate stitch on knit stitch. And this is the lattice square, super fun and easy to work up. Um, I noticed that on YouTube, the lattice square did pretty well. Everyone really loved that tutorial. Um, and then my favorite square is the mountain, oops. Yeah, the mountain square over here. Let me just, yeah. So this is the mountain square. And then this is the minimalist square next to it, just like a diagonal line. And that's pretty much it. Those are the six squares. They're super fun to work up. And then I did just a um, single crochet join for all the squares. And then I did a couple of rounds of single crochet as a border. Kept it super simple, but I absolutely love how it turned out. You can follow along on my um, blog post. You can see all of the, like you can find all of the written pattern, um, written instructions for all the squares. And then, um, as I said, I have the tutorials for all of them as well. There's a playlist called Wild One Blanket. Um, playlist and then you can pretty much like I love it so much <laughs> I love how it turned out I'm so excited and I hope you guys love working it up as well it's super fun super easy good um, Tunisian crochet sampler project you know there's some color work there's uh, you know that duplicate stitch on the net stitch which I don't know if anyone has ever shared a tutorial for that on here um, because that's usually done in knitting but um, there's a tutorial for that and then um, the lattice stitch and you know it's like you practice those Tunisian stitches there's even bobble stitches and then honeycomb my absolute favorite um, so definitely check it out I hope you guys love working it up because I had such a good time working it up and um, I kind of want to make another one. <laughs> I was thinking of giving it away and I'm kind of having a hard time. I don't know if you've ever felt that way where you worked on a big project and it was meant to be given away and then when it's time to give it away, you're like, do I really want to give this away because it took me so much time and energy and you just love how it turned out. That's where I'm at right now, but um, I think I will give it away because I know that if it stays here, it's just going to look pretty somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just wanted to share all of that with you guys. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to know, any questions you have about any of the patterns that I shared. Um, oh, I want to quickly talk a little bit about the sales that are going on. Um, we crochet has a 50% um, 50 off, up to 50% off um, summer yarn sale happening. Even Knit Picks has an equivalent, um, I think, but they, they have different yarns on their website, so you could check that out. Um, and I think just this week, the 21st to the 27th, We Crochet also has an additional 10% off on their um, on their worsted and Aran weight yarn. And then um, Furls, you know, Furls has these hook sets available. You can build your own hook sets, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, if you want to get a um, set of hooks, it's super fun um, to build your own, you know, hook set if you need specific sizes. Um, and you could get up to three, five, or eight, I believe. Um, but you can check out the details. I've linked to everything in the description. Um, I've linked to the Hobby Friends yarn that I shared um, for the free crochet patterns that I've released in the past week. Um, 
what else? I think Furls, oh, and Furls has a new hook called the Pollux and Castor um, in honor of Gemini. Um, they have that on the website. Um, yeah, I've linked to the Wander Yarn that I shared. And then what else on We Crochet? You can even check out some crochet longs. They also have their palette. Um, yarn, which is the yarn of the month um, sale. I think it's like 20% off or something. So you could check that out if you're looking for yarn. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You can sc scroll through basically in my description and see all the links um, and see, you know, if there's something that interests you, check it out. I'm not going to go through all of them because, you know, you could just check it out and see if anything pops out, but be on the lookout. I know Furls has some really amazing stuff coming up and I can't say much more than that, um, but I hope to share as soon as they go live with it. I will share it on here. I'll share it on my Instagram, to my mailing list. Um, you know, join, sign up for the newsletter if you don't want to miss anything because that's where you'll find out everything um, directly. It'll come directly to your inbox. So, all right. I think that's pretty good. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if you want to know anything else about the blanket, about the other two free patterns I released. Um, you know, anything else really, any specific stitches you would like to see tutorials for um, Tanina and crochet stitches. I need to um, work on a few more. I wanted to release the um, video tutorials for the crochet appliques because I think those are good small projects to start off with, um, especially if you're just learning how to tune and crochet. It's a good way to practice and I thought they would be fun. So I hope you guys like them. Let me know in the comments. Um, you know, drop a comment over on the video tutorial so I know you've seen it. Um, and you know, if you have any questions at all, we can drop them under the under the um, videos. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Whip Wednesday and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for joining me. All right, bye-bye.